Brazil's former president Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, known as Lula, had a special interest in meeting Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky at the G7 summit in Cornwall, England. Lula, who was invited as a guest speaker by the Progressive International, a global network of progressive activists and politicians, wanted to express his solidarity with Zelensky and his support for a peaceful resolution of the conflict in eastern Ukraine. Lula is no stranger to international diplomacy. He was widely praised for his role in mediating several regional and global disputes during his presidency from 2003 to he also developed close ties with Russia and its president Vladimir Putin, who is seen as the main backer of the separatist forces in Donbass. Lula hoped to use his influence and experience to persuade Putin to respect Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. However, Lula's plan to meet Zelensky was thwarted by the tight schedule and security protocols of the G7 summit. According to his spokesperson, Lula was upset that he could not have a face-to-face -face conversation with Zelensky, despite several attempts to arrange it. He only managed to exchange a few words with him at a reception hosted by British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Lula did not give up on his mission, though. He sent a letter to Zelensky after the summit, expressing his admiration for his courage and leadership in facing the challenges posed by Russia. He also reiterated his offer to help facilitate a dialogue between Zelensky and Putin, as well as other stakeholders in the region. He said he was ready to travel to Kiev or Moscow if needed. Lula's initiative was welcomed by Zelensky, who thanked him for his solidarity and friendship. He said he appreciated Lula's willingness to contribute to the peace process in Donbass and invited him to visit Ukraine in the near future. He also expressed his interest in strengthening the bilateral relations between Brazil and Ukraine, especially in the areas of trade, investment and culture.